Right. Here it goes. I'm going to try this experiment. Um, I'm not very technical, but let's see how this goes. I want to um, talk a little bit about <clears throat> drawing and the best way to become a good drawer, in my opinion, is to do blind contour. Blind contour is a method of drawing where you're kind of looking at the edge and the line of the thing that you're drawing. Um, blind means that I'm not looking at my paper. Now, the great thing about not looking at my paper is that I can let go of having any attachment to what, what it looks like in the end. So this is great. We're just not going to even think about what this looks like in the end. If it's just a pile of scribbles, that's perfect. If it somehow miraculously looks like something, that's good too. But that's not really the purpose. The purpose of blind contour is to train our eye to really look at the thing that we're drawing. because. It seems like um, quite often we glance at something and then we just turn to our paper and we think we can draw it from our memory. Now, there are some people who have photographic memories, but most of us, myself included, do not. So when we just glance at something, it means the rest of our drawing is an assumption. And it's not only an assumption, it's, it's drawing some pre-programmed thought of what it is that I'm drawing. So the great thing about blind contour is that we're training our eye to really see. And you have to just keep on asking yourself, what do I see? What do I see? What do I see? Not what do I think? Because what we think we see and what we actually see are usually very different things. Um, so I'm going to stop talking for a little while and we can get going. But if you get yourself a piece of paper, you can um, put it down. Uh, beside you. You don't have to put it up like this. And I I like to draw my left hand because it's always handy. <laughs> and it's always there. You don't have to look for it. It's, um, it's getting to be quite a good friend. Um, and I like to put it in a position that's a little bit unusual. So here I'll show you. Now here, if I put my hand like, like that, you can see that my thumb is actually covering that finger. So when I look and I'm drawing, I have to remind myself that I don't see this finger. I know what this finger looks like, somewhat like a sausage. We all have that idea that a hand is made up of five sort of different shaped sausages. Uh, but when we're, when we're actually drawing it and actually looking at it, you realize that sometimes um, your view is blocked. Now what I'm going to do with a blind contour, and I suggest you use a pen, no erasing, boldness, boldness is the key, um, fearless, go into this with just having fun, um, and maybe set your clock. Let's start with, I don't know, five minutes. It takes a lot of focus, a lot of concentration, and we have to keep on telling ourselves what do I see and come back because we get bored, especially nowadays, we get bored. Everything is so exciting all the time. So to force your eye to stay on your hand um, actually takes a little bit of effort. So it's kind of also like a, a meditation. I do this instead of meditation because I'm rubbish at meditation. But this, I would say, is a, an equal, <clears throat> equal amount of focus and really being present in the moment, in the now, and really making sure that we're drawing what we actually see and not what we think. Um, another thing. So we're not also drawing just the outline of the hand like you would of a dead body in a car crash, right? So we're not doing that. Outside we are looking for the, all the lines and edges that we can see. So I'm going to start here. I put my pen down. I'm going to boldly go. And I'm going to actually try and see everything Every little wrinkle and my eye and my pen should be one and I should imagine or I could imagine I think it's great to imagine that my pen is actually on my wrist right now it's not on the paper it's touching the wrist and I'm not I'm not thinking about anything else of course I am because I'm talking to you but here and I'm going to follow that other line 
that comes along the list. And even if I can take into account the smallest details, the slower you can go here, the better. Um, I know we all want to kind of rush through things and we get a little bored. Uh, but if you can actually force your eye to go along every wrinkle in your hand, um, <clears throat> getting to be quite a few, um, the better. The, the more you actually train your pen and your eye to be one, the better. Um, let's also just forget about time. There's no time limit here. We're just going along, enjoying getting to know the different wrinkles in our hand. And it also doesn't matter what my end up drawing is. And you can see that I'm not taking the pen off the paper. And the pen is moving at all times. I'm not doing short little sketchy sketch lines. I'm doing one nice, bold, continuous line. And I'm trying to really feel the edge of my thumb here and follow along. And of course, you know, I get bored and I want to look at my pinky for a while, but no. So no, let's stay on the thumb. Here we go up the edge of the thumb a little closer. And then coming up to the knuckle. And then see it comes in a little bit. trying to just have the feeling that my pen and my eye are one. So just follow along if you can and try to be patient with yourself. Try not to peek. I haven't peeked yet. Uh -huh. And then it goes, I can see I have a little bit of rough skin around my edge of my nail. Uh, I just keep on saying to myself, what do I see? What do I see? And try not to think about what it is that I'm drawing. I'm trying not to think about anything other. Um, and I'm going along with the finger. And I also here, it's interesting with angles. I'm just trying to imagine that my pen is going along the edge of my finger. And it's interesting how actually this way when you think about it. And I see here this is a fingertip. Now here I have to just try and think about what do I see because it's tempting to draw a sausage right now because I know that this probably feels more sexy here than the other fingers. I mean here, here we get here's the nail. This little um, strike. coming across too and covering some. And there's a little bit of skin there. And here at the edge of my pinky. And here. I mean, I haven't done the top of my pinky. I'm not going to find it. It's almost in the way. Here on my nail. And both here on the top, top of my pinky and here. Okay. And so you want to rush because we get bored. Um,
There we go. Now, here's the fun part. I took a look. Aha! It's not too bad. See? It does actually resemble a hand, which is really cool. Um, Uh-oh. I don't know if I've been recording or if I just... Did I? Oh, I think I did record. I just did, didn't see I had a computer went to sleep. There we go. There's my hand. Um, and I don't know how long did that take. Not too long. Um, but see... How um, these details that you find, and actually some things uh, you'll find if you do a hand drawing where you're looking at your paper that actually sometimes your um, blind contour drawing will have um, characteristics that are even that are actually more accurate and better than your your um, drawing where you're looking at the paper. And the other fun thing is, is that you can now take this and turn it into something too. It can become a semi-abstract. Uh, drawing or you can add some paint and color. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy it and I, oh, here's another important thing. Your name, and the date of January 5th, 2021. And um, keep a book of them and just do them every day and just, you know, Use your left hand for now, or if you're right-handed, use your, if you're left-handed, use your right hand. Um, we will move on to doing uh, blind contours of other things, but for now, let's just use our hand. It's great. <laughs>